Good evening, I'm Diana Fairbanks. Will anyone face charges after a fight inside the Seneca Niagara bar that injured State Senator Mark Grisanti and his wife? News 4's Ed Dranch is here with more. Ed? Well, Diana, Grisanti said what happened Friday night was horrific. His wife said she thought she was going to die, but after hearing about the incident all weekend long, you might find it surprising. Police say there was no crime committed. Arrested, but not for the State Senator Mark Rosanti describes what happened inside the Seneca Niagara Casino as a barroom brawl where he and his wife were the victims. He says he tried to break up a heated argument before this. One of those individuals who then proceeded to punch me in the rib. Uh, as I backed up, I was cold cocked on the side of my head. Grisanti says he walked to the other end of the bar, but then saw his wife Maria was being attacked by at least one other woman. He jumped to her aid. News 4 obtained the police report filed that night. In it, Grisanti admits to throwing a couple of punches, but was unsure if he hit anyone. My goal at that point was to make sure that she was protected and to go after her and, 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 and to make sure she was safe. Niagara Falls Police Captain Will Thompson wouldn't go on camera, but told News 4 they have obtained video from inside the Seneca Niagara Casino. He has seen the video and says from the looks of it, no crime was committed. Police won't release the tapes, but the report details what some surveillance cameras recorded. Niagara Falls police officers noted a woman wearing a purple dress approached Maria Grisanti in a threatening manner. The two start to fight. Maria falls to the floor. The woman was on top of her. The fight was broken up and the woman walks away, getting into the elevator and going back to her hotel room. I just kept getting slammed. I mean, I, I can't even explain it. It just, and then the hair that was, she was, I literally, literally heard my hair being ripped out of my head. But police say the incident may have been blown out of proportion, especially since a bartender told police he never saw any fight. Police are yet to file any charges stemming from the scuffle. Maria, according to Grisanti's Twitter account, is said to be resting comfortably. Of course, you can always follow me on Twitter for updates for this story by following me at Edge Ranch 4. Live in the newsroom tonight, Edge Ranch, News 4 at 530.